Hello everybody and welcome today I will show you how to upgrade your Jonas 12.1 to Jonas 12.3 and use it at your simulator uh, for those whom you, whom you uh, whom are uh, preparing to enter the GNCIA exam the software currently used as the exam is Jonas 12.3 so you may want to, to use it during your study First of all, you need to, to download the Jonas 12.1 OVF file that you, you will find this file online Then you will have to import it at a, virtual, a virtualization uh, program Here we are using the Oracle VM Okay First of all, you will import the 12.1 file from your from where you download it okay and that's it next you will reinitialize the MAC address imports appliance Now you are having the virtual machine imported at your Oracle VM. You will have to change some settings at this VM before starting to upgrade it. So let's change the settings. For the system, you will have to upgrade the PES memory to 1 gig instead of 512 meg. For the network port, you have to make the cable connected to this port in order to import the new software from the FTP from your laptop to the uh, to your virtual uh, router. Okay, and you will have also to make this as a project mode, project adapter to be project to your uh, laptop or desktop. Uh, Ethernet interface. Now press OK. Also, you will have to prepare an FTP server. OK. Here I am using FileZilla. I have created only an account at it. You can create the account from users. I have created account. Juniper and account test you can create any account you need and make it access to your Jonas 12.3 file. Okay, now it's time to go to go to the simulator GNS3. I show you how to use many routers or use the GNS3 to upgrade it I prefer using the GNS3 because you can put any topology you need going to edit preferences virtual box guest and refresh the current list you will search for the virtual machine you have added you will find it ok let's is John 12.3 enable the console port and start it in highly smooth okay now you can add it to your I think I have MD as a test. Okay. Now start and console it. Now your current twelve point one version is going to boot.
okay it's still booting now have you will have to enter firstly the root okay you will have to configure a root password okay then if you have if you are showing your interfaces you will see that you will have interface em0 having currently a cable connected or bridged to your ethernet interface so you will give your this this interface an ip from the your current ethernet subnet let's check our current ethernet subnet okay that's it turn 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 okay now let's give it okay then you can bring your ethernet interface Now you need to put your new Jonas 12.3 at your FTP. Okay, at your F you you will have to put it at your FTP folder. This is my FTP folder, and I can find it. Yes, that's that's here. Yes, you I can use anyone now. I'll come back to my router. Okay, I'll FTP to my laptop. Then I will use the username and password I have prepared. I will change the mode of the FTP to binary to copy from a DOS file to the uh, Linux based journals here then I'll take get the install 12.3 R 6.6 .6 domestic sign TGZ okay Now it's copying the file, so almost more than 400, 400 meg. And now you are having your new journals. At at your virtual machine, machine hard disk let's exit the FTP and start upgrading the Jonas to upgrade the Jonas you will request system software add the new one you have and then you will we will make it we will make an unlink to remove the packages after installation Okay, it's starting the upgrade now. Very silly, it, it will verify your software. And then it will request from your Ali boot for the virtual machine.
verifying each uh, each package and then install it Now it has completed the validation and it succeeded. Then now it's installing the packages. Okay, now it's almost finished. Just now you will have to reboot your virtual machine. Request system reboot. Yes. And then it's going now to reboot. Now the system should come up with a new software release. It's completing the installation now. It will take its time and making some restarts to remove the old Jonas files and get the new Jonas files installed. Now it's coming up with the new Jonas. Okay, and finally, here we go. And now it's working with the new 12.3 release. This is how we have upgraded the, uh, the Jonas file we have uh, got. Now you can 
If we stop this file, stop this router now, okay, we can have more than one router through cloning this software machine. Okay, it is the same steps for importing, for cloning, yes, and then you can clone the software. Now you can have many routers as you as you need. Also, you can import this. You can export this new appliance to uh, uh, an OVF file as the one you have downloaded, like that. Or we can use the OVE format. by exporting it now it will export it to you as, as one file and you can reuse it at any uh, other machine you need I hope that was informative for you and thank you for viewing.